Hey, Jeff here from Beer Brand, and I wanted to talk to you about where to trim your beard along your neck. And a lot of people do this wrong, so I wanted to tell you about how to do it right. Um, I also wanted to tell you about why to do it this way. So what a lot of people do wrong is they shave right along the jaw. I don't really understand why, but it looks really weird, and I guess it's fine if your beard is really short, like stubble phase. But once you approach about a month like this, you're going to want to bring it lower down. So let's get into how to do it right. So what you want to do is trim the beard right above the Adam's apple. So my rule is I put a finger on my Adam's apple, and then the next one, and then you trim it right there. And it pretty much lands right where that crease is. And that's where you want to do it. And then for the sides, you find that your jaw and you go parallel distance down with that line on the neck and then you just kind of kink it back a little bit and you'll find yourself have this like perfect line if you go straight forward if you do that if you go up like this it's gonna look really weird from the front and it's gonna be just weird looking then for the ears you want to trim just clean it up so there's some separation between the sideburns and the ear and make sure you trim your neck hair too. So the trick is to go slowly and carefully, checking those lines as you're trimming, not to do it too fast and make sure you're not making any mistakes and go back and forth to each side. Um, and then after you buzz all your neck area, if you want to shave it, that's good, just shave it again carefully and slowly, um, make sure you exfoliate or some kind of scrub afterwards. So why shave into this shape? Uh, the reasons that I have, I think a lot of people agree with me. So one, if you're balding or bald, keeping the neckline lower keeps the eyes of the viewer looking down towards your face instead of going up. Number two, it adds shading and it adds an illusion of a stronger jaw. Number three, having more beard hides a smaller jaw and the illusion of a more defined face and overall. Number four, it brings balance to your face. It balances its visual height and weight. And if you were to design the face, you wouldn't arbitrarily end lines at balance and you would make them balanced with the features, you wouldn't want your beard to end right below your lip, which is in a sense what you're doing if you're doing it right along the jaw. Number five, it makes you look thinner by elongating the rest of your face. Why I'm against the jawline shave that everybody does wrong? One, you shave your beard up along the jaw, you will give an appearance of a smaller face, giving a more feminine and emasculating look to your beard. Personally, that's not something I go for. Number two, when you shave along the jaw, it gives a line right in the middle of where you would shave. So there's growth here, and once that grows in, and this had some more growth, you're gonna look like you have two beards. This is just weird looking. You're better off trimming it back here and having a little bit of growth on the neck, which is always going to be more sparse than underneath. Um, personally, every time I see somebody with a jawline beard, uh, it makes me think of like a fat dude with a gut, but wearing a belly shirt, so, like, like, because they didn't want their belly to show through their shirt. It doesn't make any sense. It just emphasizes the look. So, with that being said, when you shave along the jaw, it makes you emphasize your neck. Like, look at my neck, it's so awesome. But that's not what you want. You want it to recede. So, how the human eye works is anything that's darker is going to recede into the back, and anything brighter is going to come more at you. So that beard part that's along your face is going to be left, like, skipped over, and your eye's going to go right down to your neck and it's just going to pop here and pop at your face and it's just really weird and confusing to the person looking at you. Also, I shouldn't have to mention but it looks really fake and weird, kind of like fake tan. Number six, it makes your neck look longer but not in a good way, it's kind of like your face shrunk and your neck got really long, it's really weird. <laughs> so I hope that helps you guys see my point of view on this beard trim line. And if you have any questions, please write them in the comments. 
and I'll see if I can get to him. All right, peace.